Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel and I am back with another video. So today we are going to be making our own lace closure wig. The company that I'm working with today goes by the name of Supernova Hair. All details will be down in the description box so don't forget to click that drop down box and collect all the details. So I'm starting off by lining up my lace closure with my mesh dome cap that I like to use. And I'm gonna use my T-pins and I'm gonna pin this down in place exactly where I want it to lay on my wiggy. So, after pinning the closure down, I'm basically gonna sew that closure down. I have a few wig tutorials on my channel. This one is a little updated. Anything new that I'm doing, it will be included in here. But I basically still use the blanket stitch method, which I also like to call the push loop pull method. I basically push the needle through, loop it through the thread, and then I pull it. And that gives me some extra security in my sewing technique. So I'm basically gonna do that the entire way around the lace closure until it is super secure. Then I'm gonna move on to my bundles. So right about now is where I am going to start adding in my bundles. I'm going to start with my one of my longest bundles, which is a 20 inch bundle. And I'm going to bring it up about the middle of the mesh cap on the side. And I'm just going to start to sew it down exactly how I sew my lace closure, push, loop, pull. And I do use my T-pins here and there. I mean, sometimes I could just freestyle it without them, but it does make a difference in holding your bundles in place it's a lot easier to sew that way so I'm going to continue to use that same stitch method and stitch my tracks down make sure making sure they're super flat on this dome cap and I do flip or fold some people like to say my bundles over until a certain point in making the wig I don't really like to fold it over as I get too high because then you get a chance of like lumps or bumps so I am going to be folding the bundles over about halfway through this whole process, but this is really repetitive. It's just continuously sewing, folding over, and filling up all this space until we get to the very top. So I'm going to let y'all rock out and I'll come back to you when I need to. Shout out to all my subbies that are finding me on the gram. If you're not following me on the gram, make sure you slide over. Follow me, I do follow back. And if I'm not following you back, you need to add me or DM me and let me know that I need to follow you back and you are a subby. So definitely hit me up on Instagram. Don't forget to share the love on all social medias because um, I'm definitely all about interacting with my beauties. So as you can see here, I'm just continuing to sew. I did fold my weft over at this point. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna continue to do that. I think I used about all of the hair for this wig. And in case I didn't mention, my knots are already bleached. I already did that. So right about here, I'm going in with my second 20 inch bundle and I'm basically lining everything up real nice. And I break, I make sure I bring my tracks to the very front of that cat because remember that's going to be our little hairline. So you want it to be all the way up to the front. You want it to be, you know, legit. So I bring my tracks all the way to the front and I just continue to sew it down, making sure that it's super flat. As you can see, I'm still using my T-pins. Uh, some people do continue to fold over all the way through, but I've done that before, but I just prefer to not fold over as I get to the top of my wigs because it just gives it a different look, especially if we do it like straight or body wave. You get a little more room to be like, to do what you want with curly hair, but it's just a matter of preference. So 
So to brief you babies on the hair a little bit, like I stated before, I have three bundles and a lace closure. This hair is really nice. It's super soft. The hair came with two free gifts, I believe, and it did come DHL. So as far as the pattern, it is a deep wave pattern, which is like a super deep curl. Deep wave is always confusing because a wave and a curl is different, but this is more like a curl if you ask me. The hair is super full. The bundles weren't the biggest, but they were definitely decent. I was able to achieve a full wig with, as you can see, right now I'm on my third bundle and I don't have a lot of room left. So you definitely have more than enough. And if you were to get a frontal with these lengths, like you would be set because the fronts will take up so much space with your wig cap. So I did bleach the knots on my closures. The closure has been shampooed and conditioned. After that process, the curl pattern hasn't changed. So I'm hoping it'll be the same with the bundles. But I will be back to show you guys how I'm going to apply this wig and how I'm going to style it. So definitely stay tuned for part two. So I get a lot of questions and I had a few people come for me in a couple of videos about what goes on in between this part of making the wig and the very end. It's kind of self-explanatory. Basically, you're just filling in as much hair as you can. You are going to make that last track and the closure one. You're going to marry them. You are going to sew them so close that it looks like it's together. So I made sure I took the time to go in and show you guys exactly how I finish off my wig. So y'all can't come for me. Please don't come for me. <laughs> like, dead ass, this is what you asked for. I gave it to you. So this is how I finish off my wig. And after this process, I basically co-wash the wig with some conditioner and I let it air dry. So it dries super pretty. All the curls married each other. And I can't wait for you guys to see her. So definitely stay tuned for part two. If you're interested in checking out like prices and whatnot, I will have the website for this hair linked down below. And I would thank all you beauties for watching. Please, please, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I will catch you beauties later. Stay beautiful. Just how Malibu feels. Just like, just how Malibu feels Oh, just like I've been riding around the city With no windows, yeah I've been thinking about you lately Yeah, when I come home, yeah Oh, yeah And when I'm with you, I feel it on skin I feel it on the cold, oh But I ain't never really with you So might as well hit the road Is it your head? That remind me of the hills Is it your eyes? That remind me of the hills oh. Is it your lips? That feel like the clouds must feel And when I get you It feels just how Malibu feels Just like, just how Malibu feels yeah. Just like, just how Malibu feels just like, just how Malibu feels Oh, just like You do not know me like I pull up slowly You get in my car Call me your only And I say, why you gotta do that? I ask, why you gotta do that? Why you gotta do that? Now I'm in that hood rat Hey, why you gotta say that? Why you gotta play like that? Don't play no games This is the hit that remind me of the hills Is it your eyes? That remind me of the hills oh. Is it your lips? That feel like the clouds must feel And when I get you It feels just how Malibu feels Just like Just like Just how